One of the most important areas in gut health is looking at the microbiome. So what's the microbiome? Well, it's looking at the different bacteria that are living in the small intestine. And those bacteria are being shown to have a huge impact on how our body is feeling, how our body functions, even how we think, how our emotions are feeling throughout the day. Uh, the amount of studies coming down on this on what type of good bacteria help us and what type of bad bacteria harm us is really fascinating. So if we are looking at a situation where we may have bad bacteria in our small intestine, there are studies showing that certain bacteria have a similar molecular shape to different connective tissue and other tissues in our body. That's called molecular mimicry. Having a bacteria, teeny tiny little bacteria, molecular shape being similar to let's say articular cartilage in our joints. So what's the importance of this? Well, recent studies have been showing for the last couple of years or so now that Klebsiella strains are being associated with rheumatoid arthritis. And this is because if we have Klebsiella bacteria in our gut, combined with a leaky gut situation, meaning we're having things exit the small intestine, go into the bloodstream and out and around it through our body that shouldn't be there, then it can cause harm to different tissues in the rest of our body. Essentially, we want the majority of things that are in our gut to stay in our gut and not be floating out. So something to consider because when we can help to uh, minimize any of the bad bacteria in our body, and close up any leaky gut situation in our gut, then we can start to see profound effects on different pains in our body, including pain with joints and including things like rheumatoid arthritis uh, being much more manageable and potentially even uh, coming into a remission.